Commuters, advocates and even the Treasurer admit Mikey is in dire need of an overhaul. It's been 10 years to the day since Met cards were phased out and as Mark Santo Martino explains, Melbourne is falling behind. Melbourne's Mikey mistake started woefully. Well, your money's not going to And more than a decade later... A else. Mikey's contract runs out in November and its system, which cost billions to build and run for Victoria, is locked to using physical cards and only Android phones. We are paying for a Rolls Royce and instead we were sold a lemon. I hope they learned their lesson last time. Ten years since the Met card was cancelled, Daniel Bowen is leading calls for the Treasurer to stump up for a new system. The technology has changed. But even the old cards failed Penny at Flinders Street this afternoon. All in all, it's not been a good journey. You're fine if you commute on a daily basis, but for someone just travelling, they're really not suitable. It's just old-fashioned. You can go onto the London Underground, as I did in August, take your credit card, tap it, it's sorted. Topping up takes too long when you're in a rush for a train and you can't even get a refund at a place like right here at Flinders Street Station. If you lose your Mikey, you have to buy a new one, a problem which could be solved if you could touch on and off with a credit card. That would also bring iPhones into the mix. Uh, it would just make it so much easier for passengers who may not use public transport very often. Whether Mikey sticks around or not, this train is heading in that direction. Singapore, London, New York and even Sydney all have access to contactless credit card payments. If we don't get this soon, we are going to be left behind. Mark Santomartino, Nine News.